My work is always focused around people and humans. One of the key points that I'm trying to communicate in my work is that narratives, the people that we will come across. My name is Brenna Fitzpatrick and I'm a painter. I guess you could say I've always been on the artistic spectrum. I think that I was in school when I first noticed that it wasn't normal for everyone else to be cramming their margins with drawings and just piles of doodles. I think this was, on the one hand, a distraction from subjects that I found less gripping than art. But on the other hand, it's just something that I've been doing to entertain myself, especially after my mum passed away. I found that in a deep depression, I was still able to paint and still have this feeling of compulsion to do something. I guess in hindsight is a good sign that that's the kind of lifestyle that you can continue on. If you can do it in the hardest of times, then the best of times feel pretty damn good. It definitely affected the way that I see paintings and maybe the way that I see faces as well. I generally like painting people in a state of relaxation when any facade that we put up to someone else is completely taken down. I think that's one of the joys of painting someone over an extended period, is the fact that it's many layers of someone that I see time and time again. I see them through many different states so I can slowly coax an expression or an idea out of them. On my mum's birthday every year, I go and visit her site, which is just in Pokfulam, and I have a kind of conversation with her in paint and look at her little plaque, and I paint her plaque as though it's a portrait. I first wanted to make sure that I was going to please my mother when I was in my teens. I thought that with all this creativity and natural want for design that I would become an architect. But after my first internship, I realized that architecture wasn't quite the way that I thought it was going to be. And so she really instilled an idea in me that I should genuinely pursue what it was that I wanted to do. With that in mind, after I finished school, that's when I started. I always knew that I wanted to paint in this manner though. Each of the pieces that I've made in the different cities that I've lived in and created in are all deeply affected by the culture and the people around me. But I have never had the effective work ethic instilled in me as an artist as when you have to work in Hong Kong. In London, in Italy, reactions to things are the norm, but in Hong Kong, everyone has to keep up at the same pace. Hong Kong is just this beautiful city with all of these human aquariums in them that you can't do anything but constantly interact with other people. I think this emotional connection that we have is the crux of all of my work.